I have dark under eye circles and I have a socket. <laughs> That's what I call it um, under my eyes that appeared later in my life. For a long time, I just had the dark under eye circles and I just had to use concealer to get rid of that and I could use a light concealer, but I've had to change things over time. Um, also, because of my age, there's some ways that other people do this, even on YouTube, but they're a lot younger than I am and they don't have the lines that I have. Also, when I was 30 and 31, I had eczema under my eyes and it created some uh, lines under here that have never gone away. <laughs> So I'm going to show you how I do the double whammy, how I get rid of the dark under eye circles, and how I draw attention away. What you can see when I put my head down and look at you, then you can see the socket. So my plan is when people are looking right at me, straight at me, I don't want those under eye socket circles to be seen. And I'm gonna start with a fresh face after all my skincare has been done and take you up to a certain point. Then I'm gonna leave and put on the rest of my makeup and come back. But you'll see how the demarcation is pretty intense in a moment when we get to me with no makeup on. So hang on to your seats. I'm ready to start and I'm gonna clip back my hair here. I gated the dog out of the room. So what I used to do is I used a very light under eye cover cream, which is this one from Emlyn. There's hardly any left. Let's see if you can see what color that is here. And I started using this when I was 30, but then once I got into those, you know, dark with the circly things happening here, um, it really wasn't a good choice for me anywhere, anytime, anymore. I had to go peach with the more peachy tone. And in fact, some people use a yellow toned under eye color corrector for the bluish purple. And yellow on the color wheel is opposite to purple. So that would make sense. But it just doesn't look right on me. It looks yellow. But peachy orange on the color wheel is opposite to blue. So that works for me. And I've used um, the one from Ulta. I have a video on that. I've also used this Pixie, which I'm going to use now. Pixie comes in this color. Let's see if I can get it where it's gonna be focused on this. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. It thinks it's trying to focus on my face. Anyway, they have a peach and a beige. So this one works pretty well for me. Um, when I first bought this, it seemed a little bit um, stiff and thick, but since then, the ones I bought have actually been pretty creamy. So um, I'm debating about whether to zoom in. I have my monitor below the camera and I have a mirror over on my right on your left. So between the two, I'm going to be looking in, but maybe I will zoom in a little bit. And I, I'm using a Sonia Kashuk brush and I'll link below the video. And I just dab it on including this inner corner in here because that's a little bit blue on me as well. So I'm taking care of the blue, but we'll also end up taking care of giving an illusion for the circly things that you can definitely see when I tilt my head down. I like to put my head back. <laughs> then you really can't see them. All right, but I also I bring this color down before I blend it because I have a little bit of redness here and the thing is I like all of this done all the correcting all of the under eye and I put some on my nose before foundation because I want that uniform color of my foundation to be the last color on top a lot of people are able to you know, also do some of these other discolorations that I know I have before foundation. I see a lot of people on YouTube putting on color correctors and concealers after foundation. I'm just amazed that it works for them. I've tried it and it doesn't work for me. So now I'll lightly pat this in 
under my eye. And blend it. And if I have a little bit of redness on my chin, which I don't as much today, but a lot of days I do. I'll put that in too. Okay. So, and I usually use a makeup mirror. I decided to not bring it and just use daylight. <laughs> All right. So when I look straight at the mirror, straight at the camera, it's a little better. If I tilt my head down, you'll still see the demarcation of, whoop, of I don't know what they're called, tear duct things or something. All right, now what I want to point out is that I've watched other people's videos when they have the dark blue and they have this bag, or maybe they have a puffy bag up above the circle, but they've got this half circle thing going on. And many of them will use something like the Age Rewind or something like this that um, the product comes out of here and I've tried what they do and it just doesn't provide the coverage for me that I need and an hour later or eight hours later I look in the mirror and I think oh that's very blue looking under there I've also tried some of their other tricks for getting rid of this the illusion of getting rid of this when people look right at me straight like you are right now and many people will try um, something like um, this and they'll use the corrector or under eye. They might not even use the brush. They might take a smaller brush and then what they'll do is they'll put a little bit just right under where that circle is. So right here and then they'll blend it down. I've tried that as well. Some put it on before foundation, some put it on after foundation. I've done it and later on seen myself, not even that much later, maybe an hour later and thought, oh, I still see this demarcation of the half circle and I don't want to see that. So that's why I'm sticking with what works for me. So I put on the Pixie a peach color thick corrector and it doesn't get in my lines. I have lots of fine lines. Um, also, some of the people who do this on videos are so much younger than I am and they don't have the lines that I have. They have the dark, they've even got this, which I didn't really have this line here until after I turned 50 and I'm 56 now. Hmm. So next, instead of going straight for my foundation, I'm going to use this L'Oreal BB Cream. I have it in Fair. I use it as just a type of um, primer and it allows me to use less of my expensive foundation. Next, I'm going to use my pricier foundation. I'm using Emlyn, and this is in their lightest color. For years, I wore the second color up, and then one day I bought this. They even called me and said, you know, you ordered this color online, and..." You always get the other color, like, is that really what you want? I go, yeah, I want to try it. And it comes with a nice paddle. So I'm getting low in it, so I'll go like this to get it to come down so I can get some on the paddle. That wasn't enough. Okay, so I'm just going to dot this on and then swirl it around with my fingers, but I'm going to finish it off with a brush. And this is what... I do put this under my eye. So some people, after they've done their little under eye trick stuff with their, their Dream Lumi and their little line under here that they blended, they skip putting foundation there. And I'm like, mm. I want foundation there because I want all of these colors to blend. See, and I'm just patting it in. The thing is, I don't do much with a brush under my eye. So now I'm going to use the brush, but if I use the brush under my eye, it takes product, too much product away. So I'm just going to lightly tap it over that area, but use the brush everywhere else. 
and without my handy dandy makeup mirror and um, magnification, it's kind of hard for me to trust what I'm seeing, but I'm close. Okay. Now is when I do powder. And I've tried different powders. I've tried loose, I've tried pressed. I'm better with pressed because I make such a mess with loose. I've also tried some of the more, um, what they call translucent, those white powders at this point. But then when I go to do my highlighter, it doesn't work well. So I right now I'm using, let me show you the thing. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte. And I'll put the color below. I can't read this, it's really small. <laughs> um, I gotta remember who suggested I try this. Um, I think it was L from L for Living. But I've also used a L'Oreal. Of pressed powder and I've used a Maybelline pressed powder and they all work, work well. I'm starting with this little brush and I'm just doing this and I'm gonna put it under my eye like that and that helps to set what's going on with the under eye. Just lightly because I don't want lots of powder. Now I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and do this and go all, all over. And this makes a nice setting for a bit of bronzer powder and a bit of um, blush. Now I'm onto my highlighter. <laughs> and like I said, I'm using my Emlyn. It comes in a little pack like this. Years ago, they had it in a tortoise shell looking thing, but I just got a little bit left. I use more nowadays because I'm using it as a highlighter. And I'm just going to use my ring finger and put some on like this. I use every last bit. And then I'm just going to do, I'm going to do a V. And I'm not going above that circle. And I'm not following the line of the circle either because I'm going to do more of a V. So I'm actually skipping that part so I'm doing this and now I'm gonna do the other side and even though I'm looking at this on my computer monitor I'm really not gonna be able to see what you're seeing until I'm in editing then I also really like to put a little bit on this side of my nose and then down I don't have deep lines here um, which is interesting. I think my brothers do and my mother did at a younger age, but following a lot of healthy people, I also have learned that if you have lines here, it's an indication of something going on with your liver. So time to get healthier. Again, around this side of my nose and this highlighter lasts all day and I'll pass myself in a mirror and go, oh, that looks really nice later on in the day and something about having the highlighter here gives a really nice look and then I do a little bit here and go down the nose and now I'm going to use a brush that is from Echo Tools it's this really dense flat brush I call it a stipple brush they call it a buffing brush I believe I'll link that in the description box below too and then I just lightly buff out the lines of the highlighter. Now I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on off camera, bronzer, blush, my eye makeup. Yeah, I'm even going to fix my hair, which has just been dried and not done a thing with it. So I will be right back. I'm back and I'm gonna put on one more product that I usually do before I do my eyes and I'm going to put on some Too Faced Candlelight just as one little extra bit of highlighter. And this is a really subtle highlighter. I'm just doing this and I'm just gonna put it here, upper cheeks and up here. If you want something that's cheaper than Too Faced, um, I would suggest this e.l.f., which has, 
cover the mirror, four different colors of highlighter. So that is how I get rid of this. So now if I look straight in the camera, can you see the half circles? Mm, probably not. What if I look down? If I look down, you can still kind of see them. That's why I don't look down at people. If I put my head back, it looks really good. That's when they get flat. So that's how I do it. That's how I get rid of a combination of the dark under eye circle plus this half moon, half circle, dipping eye socket thing <laughs> that I can't stand. I hope this gives you some ideas. This works for me. I'm 56, so none of this really gets in the lines. This lasts all day. And you can see how some of that highlight, the highlighter, the Emlyn highlighter, really works to draw your eye away from the socket, right? That's what I'm looking at. Let's zoom in just a little bit. I don't like zooming into myself, especially in HD, but we'll do that in a moment. That's about as zoomed in as I want to be. So still, under eye sockets, it's still kind of early in the morning, but um, let's see if I look down. You can still see them a bit. But if I look straight at you, pretty much they're gone. Please check out some of my other videos. If you're on mobile or computer, you can click the little eye in the upper right hand corner and it will pull up various types of videos that I think you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. Or on the right side of your screen, you can click one of the thumbnail pictures to go to another video. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Bye.